Shall we just talk? Is that, is that, okay. Um, <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome to Voices from Our Zone. I'm Louisa, I'm the Chief Executive of West London Zone for Children and Young People. And I'm joined today by Farah from our community, who was one of the first young people who participated in West London Zone several years ago. Thank you, Farah, for joining us. We are here to introduce the first in our new blog series called Five Years In, in which we are focusing on how we build relationships around young people and help them to achieve their targets and goals. When you were on uh, the West London Zone programme a few years ago, you had a link worker. And we believe that link workers are really important for helping you to build relationships. What did you most value about your link worker when you participated in West London Zone? I think how friendly they are. I feel like um, when you're new to a school, um, a friendly face a friendly face is always really, really nice to see. And my link worker was just amazing. She was really, really friendly. She spoke to everybody, even if you weren't on the West London Zone programme. So yeah, pretty, pretty much everybody knew who she was. Um, yeah, just made me feel very welcome and very um, included in the conversation. I felt like she really heard me a lot. And did she encourage you to do things differently, to try new things? So I was always really closed off to go into like these new like workshops because I didn't know anyone. And um, I'd always want to bring a friend with me, which I did eventually. But um, What kind of workshops were those? So it was the tuition, um, all the other workshops. I think there was a, a makerspace one with a band. So it was like the designing and there were so many kids from all other schools around us. It was a lot more. I think we went to a theatre once. Um, it's quite a blur right now because it's a long time ago. Um, but yeah, it was it was it was really really fun. And I feel like if if she wasn't as friendly as she was, and if I wasn't as comfortable around her that quickly, I feel like I wouldn't want to be in a in a situation where I don't really know anybody. So it helped. And and when you were doing these these additional um, workshops, as you call them, so opportunities, I guess, in in our communities, do you think you understood? why you were doing them and what you were trying to get out of them? Not really until after. I feel like around year 11, year 10, when I was thinking about like doing CVs and stuff like that, and I realised how much I could actually thought my CV was insane because of all the opportunities that were given to me. Um, how did you create like such a good team of like link workers? What do you generally look for when you're searching for some link workers? So I agree, our link workers are amazing. And um, we've learned a lot about um, what we are looking for and what makes a good link worker over the years. We have a pretty thorough um, recruitment process, uh, which means we can really get to know the candidates um, pretty well to make the decision. It's a lot about values. We're really focused on values uh, when, we go, when we do that process. And then we have quite a rigorous training program uh, to really prepare link workers. And then I think it's also about really being part of our community. So I think it's a combination of things. At the time when, when you were on the program in the two years, did you have goals that you were trying to achieve or targets that you were trying to meet? And did your link worker make you aware, were you aware of those or not? So I was always aware of like, I, I, I would call myself quite a goal oriented person. My mum has always been on my back, like about grades and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I, I, re I, I always knew what grade I wanted to get and like um, the step to do so far. Like, I, mean, I was young and I used to mess about, so the extra tuition really helped as well. So I didn't feel like it was, it wasn't in a, re a class environment as well. It was just me and the tutor, which really helped. So it was one to one? Yeah, it was one to one as well. And do you think if you're, do you think you'd have done that if your link worker hadn't encouraged you to do it? No, definitely not. Definitely not. If it was just me by myself looking for tuition, I probably wouldn't have taken that step. And yeah, I'm actually gone and done it. And you got good grades at GCSE. Yeah, so definitely. So that's great. <laughs> it was good. Um, when we started um, uh, the program mm -hmm. together, did you feel like you had been, I guess, singled out or targeted for the program no definitely not definitely not i don't, I don't know that i was even targeted or like even like my name was pulled up from the rest of the class i don't feel like that i felt like it was just 
which is a cool place to be in. Um, there was a lot of sports involved as well, and I've always loved sports. So, yeah, it, just, it, it attracted me. I, didn't, I, I thought I went to them. I don't think they came to me, really. I think uh, that was a lot to do with the way your link worker approached it. And, and that's how um, we prepare our link workers to be able to, to make you feel like that. Sure. Since you finished participating in the Islamic Zone, do you feel you set yourself some goals that you've achieved? Would you be willing to share those with us? Um, the first thing on my list is to get my driver's license. And in order to do that, I had to make money. So I've been working in a restaurant in Portobello Road, which is pretty cool. There's, there's a lot of lovely people. I've recently passed my theory test. And then I recently failed my practical test, but it's okay. I'm just going to keep moving forward and um, hopefully try and book a, an, another exam. So I feel like one thing that Muslim Zone Zones taught me is just to, like, even if things don't go your way, it doesn't, it doesn't mean it's the end. It doesn't mean it's a full stop. You keep on moving, basically. After driver's license, um, I, I am going to apply for an apprenticeship to become a flight attendant and just kick start uh, um, travelling the world. I already have. I've been to... Um, Switzerland for my 18th birthday and wow. to Amsterdam twice, which was pretty cool. So just have that sense of responsibility as well. Yeah. Do, do you have any goals for working in Islamic Zone? Always. Lots of goals. Um, it's really good to hear your goals. It sounds like a real plan. Earning your money, getting a driving license, training to be a flight attendant. Fantastic. Thank and I, I wish you all the luck in the world with those. I know, I know how hard you apply yourself. So brilliant. I also have goals for West London Zone, yes. We are keen to work with many more children in our community um, and to help them to achieve their goals in life, just like you are. And so in the next uh, five years, we plan to grow from working with just over a thousand children to 3,000 children in a given year. So it's a big growth plan, which we're very excited about. And given that we're thinking of doing that, um, have you got any tips for me on terms of uh, what we could do better, how we could um, make sure that we're working with more children, giving them the best support that we possibly can? I would definitely say continue what you're doing because you guys are doing very well. Um, I would say at least have at least um, two link workers um, at school because um, for us, we had only one. It was, a, it was a female, maybe some of the boys in my year group weren't comfortable going to a, a female to talk to them about their problems. But getting a man and a woman who are also working on the same level um, to, to, to work together as a team and um, to help the, the, the group and, and yeah. Well, that would also help us to work with more children, yeah, right? Sure. So that would help us to achieve our goal of, of working with more children. That's Definitely. a really interesting idea, thank you. Thank you so much, Barrett, for coming and talking to us today and being a voice from our zone. And uh, it was great to hear from you about building relationships and about achieving your goals. Thanks so much for sharing all that with us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. pleasure. I really enjoyed myself. Great. I enjoyed talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.